So the next thing that we are going to look at is time. So how can you calculate time? So the first thing that you are supposed to do is to find the difference in longitude between those two places. After you find the difference in longitude between those two places, then you divide that difference by 15. Then if the answer gives you a whole number, you are going to subtract it with the term that you have been given for another place, or you are going to add it with the term that you have been given for another place. But take for instance where you have a remainder. That remainder, you are going to multiply it by 4 minutes. And I have an example that I have already written. And uh, this example of uh, this earth surface of point A, which is on latitude 45 degrees north, and on longitude 55 degrees east, point C, which is on latitude 45 degrees north and longitude 15 degrees east, then point B, which is on latitude 45 degrees north and longitude 6 degrees west. Then the question proceeds, find the time at point C. Uh, if the time at point C is 12 hours, what is the time at point B? which is on the west side and the time at point A which is on the east side so we are going to start with the time at point B so that's Roman number 1 so the time at point B so the first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to find the difference in latitude in longitude between point C and B so point B is on longitude 60 degrees so B is on longitude 60 degrees west, then C is on longitude 15 degrees east. And since these are having different signs, this means I'm going to add the difference. So I'll say 60 plus 15, and this is 75 degrees. And uh, since I have 75 degrees, I'll say 75 degrees divided by 15 degrees and 75 degrees divided by 15 degrees I'm having 5 hours so which means the difference in hours between point C and B is 5 hours and for me to calculate the time at point B I'm going, I'm going to consider the region where B is so B is on the west side so which means I'm going to subtract uh, 5 from 12 hours. So I'll say 12 hours minus 5 and 12 hours minus 5 I'm having 0, 07 hours. So the time at point B is 0, 07 hours. Then let us proceed. Let us find the time at point A. So the time, Roman number 2, the time at point A. So I'm going, the first thing I'm going to find the difference in longitude between point A and C. Point C is on longitude 15 degrees east. Point A is on longitude 55 degrees east. And since these are shared, uh, they are having the same signs. So this means the difference in longitude I'm going to subtract. So this means 55 degrees minus 15 degrees and I'm having 40 degrees. And this 40 degrees I'm going to divide it by 15. So I'll say 40 divided by 15. So 40 divided by 15 I'm having 2. So here there is a remainder. There is a remainder of uh, about 10. There is a remainder of 10. So 15 into 40, that's 2. Uh, then I'm remaining with 10. 
So this turn I'm going to multiply it by 4 minutes. Since 1 minute, uh, 1 degree is equal to 4 minutes. What about the remainder which is 10 degrees? It's going to be x. So this means x is going, is going to be 40 minutes. So this is 2 hours. So 0, 2 hours, 40 minutes. So that's the difference in time. And since point A is on the east side, so it means I'm going to add that difference in minutes and in hours to 12 hours. So I'll say 12 hours plus 0, 2, 40. So this is 14 hours, 40 minutes. And this is the time at point A. So time at point A. And the next thing that we're going to talk about is speed.